Last week, one of Twitch TV's most popular entertainers, Shroud, streamed Mordhau to an audience of 20,000 for several hours. Both Shroud and his audience were able to appreciate how fun and polished the alpha is. However, playing on a server full of competitive melee veterans definitely took its toll on Shroud, who is completely new to the game. Bro, people are so good at this game! I fucking fuck! Does it make you want to get good? No! Makes you <laughs> want to stop playing! Jack Sinclair did a great job showing Shroud the ropes, but their enthusiasm to show off all the mechanics, especially chambers, potentially led Shroud to a playstyle founded on bad habits. The purpose of this video is to discuss how we can introduce new players to Mordhau and which control scheme should become the default in order to make the game easier to grasp. The most noticeable issue was Shroud being unaware that he could sprint and attack. This was a massive handicap to his weapon range and caused him to miss frequently. Ideally, this would be explained in the first few minutes of the game, so that he didn't have to spend four hours shuffling forward in every engagement. Some might propose sprinting to be the default, and pressing shift to walk instead, but this would cause its own issues. Noobs would be running across the map on low health and stamina, as they would never walk to regen. Pressing shift to sprint is a universal standard across FPS games now, and you could end up with players constantly walking when they intend to move faster. I know this annoyed me in Mirage Arcane Warfare when auto sprint was on by default. So make sure that's on. Oh, and sorry. then yeah, you're good. You go to keybinds now, um, and then like kind of in the middle, you see parry, faint, or parry, and faint. Uh huh. So unbind parry and faint, um, and then make faint or parry right mouse button. Okay. Okay, so what that's going to do is when you attack and you right click, your character will faint. I agree with Clean here. Personally, I find having faint on right mouse button more natural, primarily because it's logical having all your attack binds on your mouse. It also reduces the number of keys you need to keep track of in a bind intensive game. That being said, the reflex required to quickly double tap R and B in order to parry mid attack is potentially a barrier for noobs. But there's also a counter argument in that fainting first can encourage more thoughtful play rather than using up your parry immediately. A more egregious default option in the control schemes is the 240 degree angle system. You may recall a year back I predicted that 240 may have its uses when chambering. Since then I've moved to a pure bind setup and can safely say that it's both more consistent and effective for chambering, once you've got the muscle memory down. Chambering with 240 is undoubtedly easier to grasp initially. But that's where its usefulness ends, and for that matter, why should new players be chambering strikes in the first place? Rather than waste the iconic left mouse button with 240, instead LMB should be bound with the horizontal swing. Knowing that you can run into a group of enemies, click LMB and consistently attack from the same direction is honestly liberating after having played with 240 directional for several months. Whether you like it or not, directional swings are largely irrelevant to Mordhau's combat, and they're not worth worrying about as a new player. Back to chambers. When explaining the chamber mechanic, it should be heavily prefaced that chambering is inherently a bad thing to do, and this is difficult to understand because they appear to be a skillful mechanic. Chambering costs more stamina than a normal parry. You give your opponent the opportunity to chamber you back at zero stamina cost. They have a smaller time window to land. You have to match your opponent's direction, and you can get flinched mid-chamber. New players would do better both in the short term and the long term to become familiar with simply parrying attacks. Uh -huh. Dude, I don't. It's I can't tell where where the what when, when somebody uses their fucking sword and they hit you with your hilt, their hilt or whatever. Oh, so I can't close. figure out their swings. It all looks the same. Everything. I can't tell oh. what directions anything's coming from. Moments like this happen frequently throughout the stream when really the attack direction should have largely been ignored. The first obstacle players should overcome is the timing of parries. Team damage can also be relieved of binds as more precise overheads can reliably be used instead of the sweeping horizontal swings that 240 angling can conjure up. Doing more damage to my team than the enemy. The best control scheme is one that uses all binds. I'm using the Rival 500 so I can bind each attack angle to its own button. Obviously it's unreasonable to expect players to have a mouse of this many buttons, so let me present the second best control scheme and what should therefore become the default. LMB, horizontal swing, stab and overhead, mouse wheel, underarm, top thumb button, flip attack angle, bottom thumb button. This is basically the chivalry controls but with the added underarm and flip attack angle on the thumb buttons. This keeps all the attack binds neatly on the mouse and the added complexity of the angle flip bind can be forgotten about until the noob wants to expand their repertoire. I understand that the 240 mouse angling system looks cool on combat presentations but we've all played enough now to unanimously conclude it's suboptimal. 
While this 240 is a cool option to have, it has no place in the default control scheme. These were the major points that I thought needed laying out. Everything else was falling into place for Shroud. His feints and morphs were becoming more threatening over his course of playing, and I even witnessed him duck a strike, which was very impressive for a new player to pull off. Despite playing against some of the toughest players you're likely to face in America, Maud Howe left an impressive first impact. I know that many spectators in the chat were desperate to play after watching, and hopefully Shroud will jump back in on release, where he can fight in a more natural environment. That game was fun. It was... It's difficult though, it's super hard. 